this is Rocky Chan, man. This is Kenny Johnson. How you doing, man? Good, man. What's happening? Good that you're here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excellent, man. How's life to you, man? Very good. Very blessed. Very good. Yeah. Just got done shooting a uh, sixth season of uh, SWAT, and then I shot a movie a few weeks ago in Atlanta, and they're based on AIs. And, um, and then I'm here now, so, you know, life is great. So you started off as a model, right? Yeah, way back in the day. Did you challenge your co-stars to arm wrestling matches before you became a former champ? Chow. <laughs> I was already for, I was like a champ, I think, before I uh, started arm wrestling, but I would ask somebody, you know, if they want to arm wrestle, if anyone arm wrestling, and they would just sit down and be like, yeah, I'll arm wrestle. So I used to jump out, uh, you know, get guys, and then it became crew guys, and it became like 300 pound grip and crew guys, and the bet was anybody could hold me up for more than a second and a half, I'd give them $10,000. So people just line up, and every set I was on, it's like boom, 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 you know? I didn't have to pay anyone out, so I was lucky. <laughs> Do you still enjoy a can of Pringles with a Brad Pitt? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and Brad go out, we like, he plays the nerd, I play the not nerd. Isn't that a funny, man, all those years? He was a nerd in this Pringles commercial. I played one of the hunks. So we'd steal their girls. So we stole Brad Pitt's girls. It's like, really? <laughs> So you were actually the oldest member on the strike team from The Shield, even though you played the youngest. Right, right, right. I think I have Michael Chiklis by two months. So yeah, me, Walton, and Michael. And so I was the oldest, and then Michael's two months behind me. Actually, a month, a month. And then Walton's a few years back. Yeah. You did a, a great job. Was it hard dealing with the fans who hated your character? For like doing the things like earning the money when in fact you were the only one who was trying to be a good cop? Um, was it hard? You know, you're playing a character on TV so people are going to react and sometimes, you know, like when I burned the money, I remember going to a Dodgers game and a bunch of these gang members got pissed off because they liked the show and they were pissed because I was burning the money and I wanted to like just make everything like right between us and these people out, fans, like in public actually got pissed off at me. And said, no, whoa, whoa. I said, I'm just playing a character, man. I didn't write this stuff. I'm only playing it on TV. You go, in real life, I won't burn the money. I go, I swear to God, I won't burn the money. So it is, if people don't like a character, it's okay because as long as you stay true to like whatever you're doing and whoever you're playing, you're not supposed to be there to please the audience, but to just be honest about what you're playing. I mean, that just shows you're a good actor. You're playing your role. Right, right, right. And, and, it's, and it's also kind of sad because like that actually happens with a lot of people who are like, the good guy or like the bad guy and stuff like that, they get like the real public hate. Yeah, 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 say. yeah. You yeah. just gotta know, yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, I played a character in Bates Motel that, you know, people despise because of who he was and it's, uh, sometimes it's kind of tough because in real life, people would like get next to me and go, oh, it's like, I gotta get away from that guy right now. That's the guy from Bates Motel that creeps me out. And I'm thinking like, it's just the character, you know what I mean? It's like but people do drag it into real life, I guess, sometimes. It's crazy how many of the guys went on to be in some of the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. What was the, uh, the first time when you saw Walter Goggins in drag? Walton? Was the first time I saw him? Yeah, like in drag. Oh, in drag, oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, he showed me pictures of himself prior to me seeing him in drag. So he's like, Kenny, Kenny, I gotta show you these pictures. I'm so beautiful. I'm like, what? He goes, yeah, yeah, you're not gonna believe how beautiful I look. So he showed me, like, we got together for coffee. And I'm looking at these pictures go like, what the heck is this, man? He goes, this is what I'm playing on uh, SOA. I'm playing this, you know, he said the character's name. And I'm like, oh my God, okay, oh, that's great, you know? So, uh, yeah. He, he, yeah, Walton, Walton likes the way he looks. Do you think it's funny how many people were sons of anarchy who were on it, like, and they think they're real bikers? Do you think that's kind of funny? Um, people in real life? Yeah. Yeah, no. like, well, like the people who play sons of anarchy and then they think they're real bikers. Oh, the guys playing it? Yeah. Mm, I don't know if they... I don't, I don't know, man. I mean, I think a lot of people on the outside thought they were real badasses. But in real life, you know, look, Charlie took on the persona a little bit. I think probably Kim might have believed he was that character because he dies in those characters. Theo, I think, believed, yeah. So it is kind of, yeah, it's kind of funny how people think they're <laughs> kind of badasses. You play a cop a lot of the time. Do you like it when you get to play the bad guy in the show 
it's like Suns or Bates Motel. I actually do like it a lot. And if I do play a cop, I like, you know, like on The Shield, there, it was a flawed cop that did all these like really messed up things, you know, like, but did he do it for the right reason? So if you play a flawed character, it's the best kind of character to play because in real life we all have, you know, we all have flaws, you know, and the more real you can make it, I think the more you can just touch people, whether you play a cop, whether you play a any character is just a mask for really who is that human being. So if they write a character and a storyline that kind of goes deep and kind of mirrors life, it doesn't matter what you play, but I think that's the best kind of uh, roles, you know. I mean, I, I hate you actually when people always say, oh yeah, you're, you're always the cop. You always play a cop. And I'm like, no, I'm not really always a cop. When I do, normally it's a struggle, you know. So, you know. Are you all healed up after getting hurt on SWAT? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you were on death row, what would be your last meal? My last meal? A double cheeseburger. Double cheeseburger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Double cheeseburger with bacon and extra cheese and mayonnaise and a Coke. Just because I know it's not good for you, so. How are you going out? Uh, going out? What do you mean? Like dying. How are you dying? In prison? Yeah. Well, you said I was in death row. Yeah, like... Do yeah, I hang like, myself or do I get stuck, like, at, shanked by somebody? Like, would you get the electric chair or would you get the firing squad? A <laughs> firing squad, yeah. I'm going to go old school. I'm going to go on top of the building and have my head chopped off with a machete. Guillotine? <laughs> yeah. No, that'd be bad. I, I would do lethal injection if I really wanted to. the first one I take. If you could choose your next project based on your idea, what would it be? A uh, project with that guy over there, Ryan, and we would be playing uh, characters uh, like the Big Lebowski, John in Cincinnati, um, Terriers, kind of a, a tripped out, a tripped out um, series that's different and offbeat, you know. What's the next for you? What are you doing? Um, I'm gonna go back and finish season, season seven of of uh, Swap, but I'm only doing a couple episodes, and then I'm gonna go back to Mayor Kingstown and sh show that Jeremy Bunner's on. What my followers love All together? Yeah, like how does, like, where's your website? Oh, yeah, uh, your followers love okay. Instagram is like, at the Kenneth Johnson, I think uh, Twitter is like, uh, the Kenny Johnson's got a blue check mark. So if they go on a Facebook or anything, if it's got a blue check and it has a, like, I have like half a million followers, I think, on Facebook or a little more than that, and then about, 500 on, you know, if you see that they're, you know, like a bunch of followers, you know it's me because there's a lot of rip off people out there. You know? All right, man, it's been a pleasure hey, speaking dude, with you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for being on the show. Yeah, yeah. Love it. You mind if we could get a photo?